NFT by Earth. On YouTube, enhance and mobile advertising on Facebook. Okay, so this is my transplants for what I suspect is wild onions, but I'm not sure if it is or not. I went ahead and put them in here. That's the first batch of them. And we, or I went and uh, did some more tra uh, transplants. And I've got yet another tub of them. And I'm going to take those and transplant them here after I till this and get it ready. I'm going to take dirt from the pile and let me get a picture of that. Or from the garden and put it in there like I did with this one. And here is what the garden looks like so far. That's how much I've got here. Okay, so what I thought, or I think it is onion, wild onions, it's all out of this section of the garden. So I took that and put it over on the other side. Now I'm getting ready to shovel the dirt up into a bucket and bring it here. Now, what I do is I uh, layer my uh, dirt with uh, grass, uh, leftover grass from mowing, put uh, about three buckets to four buckets of grass in it, and then I'll put eight buckets of uh, dirt over the top of it. Usually I put cardboard from cardboard boxes with sodas in between them, but I forgot to this time, so I'm just going to go ahead and finish it and not worry about it. I'll do it in the other ones too, but I figured I would show you this. I think I had video footage in my 2018 gardening about this, but I wasn't sure, so I just wanted to go over at least this part. Take a picture. And like I said, whenever I got to have this all filled up, I will or all of these totes filled up, I'll show you the end results. Alright, this is my grow bed, or grow box that I had from last year, and I put uh, wild onions in it, and the reason why I'm showing another video of it is because I also want to point out that I have uh, uh, grass seed and everything that was in this grow box from last year. And it's in my 2018 videos, and what I'm going to do is sprinkle it in here and see if I can get that to grow in here with these wild onions because I have a suspicion that this is what was causing nothing to grow in that section of the garden. <clears throat> okay, so I have all of the wild onion that I transplanted are pulled out of my garden area where I'm going to put my canopy or cantaloupes and this is what I finally did I put them down back here by the compost pile and I put them all close together and there was big chunks of dirt that I had too that came up underneath it like right here so I set them all in here I didn't worry about putting dirt down with it. I just put them side by side because they clump up together in large groups. So I want to do this one where they're clumped up. And then the other one that I showed you, I wanted to do some of them that were separated to see if they can grow by themselves too. 
All right. I'll take some pictures. And you'll see more of this later on. So. Okay, these were the two plants that I transplanted last year. And so far it looks like they're dead. Them being next to my hubcaps don't seem to look all nice, but... Here are my transplants. I'm doing better this year apparently at transplanting than what I did last year. Which I'll show you my dead plants too. That way you guys can get a final look at what they turned out from last year. Nothing came out of them. They're dead as a doorknob. I'm not going to take a picture of that one. This was brought to you by Earth on YouTube and Hanson Mobile Advertising on Facebook. We thank you for your participation. If you enjoyed, please like, subscribe, share, make comments. We love feedback.